Now have a look at the following video and tell me if you pick up a specific tone that is coming up with some hidden motives and hidden agendas. Down, which South Africans are you speaking for? And which conversation are, conversations are you having and with whom and where? Well, I'm having conversations with South Africans who are frankly fed up with the lack of which information they received from government. Yeah, which ones and uh, where are you Would you like having... me to provide you with a list of uh, them? That would I mean, be great, what are yeah. you asking? Yeah, I'm asking where are you having these... Com which thousands of South Africans are you speaking media, to? On social media... So you're talking, uh, to, so you're talking for those people that like you're children. interacting with, not necessarily all of South Africans, because what you've said is that well, how would South, you Africans are, South Africans are begging for clarity. I'd need to know which South Africans... Sir, please let me speak. Sir, please let me speak. I've respected you. Which South Africans is a You've said that you're speaking to South, South Africans. Africans. I'd like to know Minister which South Africans you're speaking to, sir. Well, would you like a list? I mean, if you ask the if president... If you can do that, that would be great, because if you're speaking for the majority of yeah. South Africans, then I'd like to know that you're speaking for the majority of South Africans. When you say us, we, South Africans, who are you speaking to? what we're saying. If I, if so I look, if I look at social media, government. a lot of people are saying that there should be lockdown regulations to protect well, a lot of South Africans. Well, a lot of people are saying they're not. A lot of people are saying. A lot of people are saying that they're not. But they're tense, I'm asking being treated, who you're like interacting with. A government that's making decisions that have absolutely no basis uh, in in both a health perspective and a rationality perspective. But I'm very glad the president's got you in his corner because um, he's obviously been speaking to you. <laughs> All right, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to get a rational conversation here. But thank you very much for giving us your time there. That's a dear leader, a John Steenhaisen, right, joining us uh, on the line there. Uh, thank you very much, sir. We appreciate your time. Have a good day.